Hi there Thor owners. Today in your 2016 Thor Gemini, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install Timbrin's suspension enhancement system. Before we put our Timbrin's on, we're going to go ahead and hit our test course and get a baseline of how our vehicle feels when driving it. And then we'll hit the course again afterwards. I'm expecting there to be drastic improvements once we have Timbrin's installed in the back. Because just looking at the leaf springs, this thing is sagging and loaded down quite a bit. So we're going to start by hitting our bump section here and it's going to be the uneven bump section. And this is going to simulate a pothole and it's going to rock us back and forth pretty good. And we can definitely feel the back each time we hit a bump it definitely throws us. You can see it here in the steering wheel too where it hits. Now as far as your steering wheel moving that's going to be more of a steering stabilizer issue that is going to correct that but you can definitely, I mean we're rocking pretty good inside of here. Now we're going to head into our even bump section. This is going to simulate like going over a speed bump like you might into a parking lot or apartment complex. And this is forward and backward. We are gonna notice some small improvements here because every time we do go down in the back, up and down, we have that bouncing motion. So by adding the timbers in, it should minimize that porpoising that we had. Lastly, we're gonna go into our slalom section and this is where we're gonna simulate evasive maneuvers. And this is where I expect the timbers to really shine here because we're gonna be rocking it pretty hard here as we try to avoid whatever obstacles might be in front of us. And having the timbrins there to react is going to help keep us from getting thrown around as much as we are here in the motorhome. So we're heading into the section now. So here we go. Without our timbrins here, I expect it to be pretty, oh yeah, you see the, the body really rolls. When you're inside of it here, you can almost, the whole world kind of turns at a slant and that we're, we're not even really going that aggressive. I don't really want to go too much more aggressive with it than what we are. Ooh, yeah, especially on a, a nice heavy turnaround like that. So I definitely expect to see some major improvements once we get those on. Now with our Timberins installed, we're gonna hit the test course once again. We're again heading into the uneven bump section. Oh yeah, you can, you can definitely feel a difference. The suspension is stiffer, it's, especially on that first bump, you'll notice it on that first bump but we're definitely not rocking quite as bad as we were before. Next, we're gonna be heading into our even bump section, and this is gonna be our forward and backward motion. And we can feel the front suspension here is nice and smooth, and what before that we had, it would go up and it would slam down. We feel it more on the up rise, because our sumo springs are contacting, than we do on the back down motion. So we don't slam down quite as hard as we used to. And lastly, we're gonna be heading into the slalom section here. And this is where I expect to have pretty major improvements on what we had before. Before we were depending on just the leaf springs and our sway bar for the sway motion that we had. Now we're gonna have our timbrance in addition to those. All right, here we go. Oh, wow. And it is quite the drastic improvement. The body roll is, is actually quite negligible in comparison to what it was before. Before I was really getting thrown back and forth. And now you can feel it, but your whole body's not being thrown around. You know, it's almost more like driving just a regular van than it is driving a motorhome at this point. And this is what our Timberns look like when they're installed. They are a replacement for your factory jounce bumper and they're designed to contact sooner than your jounce bumper so you can start getting the benefits of the Timbrin when you need it. In most cases on your motor home here, when you have them installed, you're gonna get that contact immediately and you're gonna automatically feel the benefits right away. With Jounce bumpers, for the most part, you don't get any benefit from them until your suspension's completely bottomed out. It's just there to provide some cushion when the suspension does bottom out. With our Timbrins here, we're gonna make contact much sooner and we're going to be getting assistance from them throughout the entire motion of travel. The more we compress them, the more they're going to be supporting and providing assistance to our suspension. This is going to help keep our ride height closer to factory when we're heavily loaded down. Now when we hit those heavy bumps, our timber is going to smooth out our ride because we're going to be getting assistance throughout the entire travel. Where our jounce bump before, if it was bottoming out, it's just gonna slam. Whereas this one, we're gonna ease into it. So it's going to be a little bit smoother it's also going to help with 
body roll because our timbrens here are going to contact as our body starts to roll, whereas our jounce bumpers were so far away, they really hardly never made contact to do anything. These now are going to start making contact and pushing back up, assisting our suspension to help level us back out. And they can also help improve our ride height under heavy loaded conditions. Our motorhome here is already very heavy, so you can see we're already getting that benefit, so we're not gonna sag as much as we were before. Our timbrens are constructed of a hard rubberized material that's UV resistant, so it's not gonna dry out in the outside. And it's also resistant against road grime and oils, so it's not gonna break down under those conditions when driving down the road. If you get a little leak and things start splashing on it, you'll be able to clean these off and they're going to withstand for years to come. In comparison with other suspension enhancement systems, timbrens are gonna be one of the easiest to install. Follow along with me and we'll have it done before you know it here. We'll begin our installation underneath the rear of the vehicle. Before you get down underneath the vehicle though, we are going to need to increase the distance between the top of our axle and our frame where our jounce bumper is connected. To do that, you'll want to lift the vehicle by the frame. So we've got our jack stand underneath our frame here, as well as our jack. Our jack stands further back. You also want to make sure you have a jack stand under there to support it. So we're lifting up by the frame to increase that distance, then placing a jack stand under it because we don't want to trust a hydraulic jack to support the weight while we're underneath of it. We also want to chalk the front wheels to ensure the vehicle can't roll. Because if you lift the, the wheels here on the back all the way off the ground, the vehicle could potentially roll in the front. Now ours are still touching slightly, but it's still a good idea to chalk them just in case you lift it up high enough to where they come off the ground. Once you've got everything set up, then we can begin removing our factory jounce bumper. And that's going to be located right here just above our axle. We're going to use a 13 millimeter socket. You're likely going to need an extension. We're going to go up through the center of the jounce bumper and we're just going to remove the bolt that holds it on. This is a pretty long bolt, so you are going to be cranking on this for a little while. Once you finally got it out of there, we can take our jounce bumper down and we're just going to set it aside. You'll go ahead and remove the jounce bumper on the other side as well. Now, if you're only lifting up one side at a time, then it might be a good idea to wait to take the other side out until you finish up this side completely. So here you can see our old jounce bumper sitting next to our new jounce bumper. And you can already see here that our new jounce bumper is taller. This plate, no matter what, is going to be sitting on top. So if we were to kind of put these even, you can see that our new jounce bumper is going to stick down considerably further. This is going to increase the point of contact, so our jounce bumper contacts sooner than what our factory one would, and also means that it's going to crush more as we load it up, so we're going to get more use out of our timbrin throughout the travel of our suspension. You do also get a spacer in your kit, and this spacer is used if you need to increase the amount of support, and this is typically done on heavy duty applications. When you're going to install these, what you'll want to look at first is how much space you're going to have here at the bottom. You could put this spacer in and that will allow this to contact sooner and that can increase your ride height if that's something you're looking for. But again, if you're loading it down with a bunch of stuff, you may want this so it contacts sooner so you get additional support. We're going to be using these on ours. So we're going to be using these three components here. If you're not using the spacer to just keep a factory ride height and just getting only the benefits of our timbrin when your vehicle's loaded, then you would just use this top plate here. Timbrin's provided two different length bolts. You'll use the shorter one if you do not use the spacer. You'll use the longer one if you are using the spacer. So since we're going to be using the spacer, we're using the longer bolt. We want to go ahead and drop our bolt down in there. There is a washer down inside of it. It's very difficult to see because it's so dark inside there. But really all you're looking for is when you look straight down, you should be able to see through the washer and the hole here at the bottom. If you can't see through the hole, that means the washer is likely kind of cocked up sideways or something blocking the hole. So we're going to drop the bolt down until it comes through the hole there. And it can be a little tricky to get that bolt to line up. So just kind of work the bolt around until it does fall through the hole. Once you get the bolt lined up, you can go ahead and drop it down. We're then going to hold our bolt. It's probably easier if you just turn it sideways. Slide the spacer on, and then we can put the top plate on. And we wanna make sure that the 
larger flat surface area is down towards our jounce bumper and the smaller round cup here is up towards where it's going to thread into the frame. Now what I did find when with these is that the bolt is pretty much just long enough. So one of the things you might want to do when you're going to put it up there is take a paper towel and we're going to be pushing this in the socket. We're using a 16 millimeter socket and that's for the longer bolt. If you were using the shorter bolts it would be a 17 millimeter. We're going to go ahead and tear some of this paper towel and we're going to just kind of set it over top of our socket before we put it up in there. The issue is that the bolt, since it's just barely long enough, sometimes the bolt can drop down inside the socket and then now the bolt's too short sticking through. So this will keep our bolt as far up as possible. So, we, so that way we don't have that issue. You're also going to need your extensions again. We're going to grab those. We're going to slide this with the napkin up in there and until we get it to line up with our bolt. And now we can take our assembly here and go thread it up into the weld nut where we removed our factory jounce bumper. Now that we've got it started, we can just go tighten it all the way down. And we just want to tighten it until it's nice and snug. And then we're all done. When taking your components back out, you may need to disassemble your tools as you may not have the clearance you need to slide those out of there. So that's why I recommend little extensions like this so we can take out small chunks at a time. With this side all tightened down, we can repeat the same process over on the other side. And that completes our installation of Timbrin's suspension enhancement system on our 2016 Thor Gemini.